we have our man rider and it's taking a group of Tideway staff who have been down to look at the tunnel this morning. Not for the faint of heart. Today we unveiled our underground oasis called Lou Gardens. It's created to symbolise the healthier future of the River Thames. Some of the plants you'll see in the garden are actually native to the banks of the River Thames and it pays tribute to the positive environmental impact that the supercell will have on the river by preventing millions of tonnes of sewage going into it each year. But the garden is an immersive installation, so you'll be able to hear the sounds of the birds, it has river tides in the background as well and there's also a scent that you can smell when you come down to really create that immersive oasis feeling. So we've had an opportunity to open the tunnel to a different range of people and audiences to come down, have a look at this piece of secondary line tunnel which is now completed at Kirtling Street in Vauxhall and we've created a very special installation which talks about the ecology around the river and we've created what we describe as Lou Gardens which is an underground garden but there's a lot more to it than that, there's lots of plants, there's sort of like trees and flowers. It's a massive like artistic installation that really we hope speaks to the future and this kind of vibrant environment that we're going to create with the cleaner river. With the ecological and health benefits that the project brings, it's an example of a vital infrastructure upgrade to a global modern city and one that will make London a more resilient and cleaner city for the future. Been here celebrating in a, in a slightly different way. We've done an awful lot of talking about the construction and the big engineering and uh, we've just been showcasing Blue Gardens. It's a, a slightly thought-provoking place, it's a playful place and that's been part of the way we've gone about it all but it's, it speaks about a really positive future for the environment and I think it's a nice way as we end the project to almost go back to the very beginning and what we thought we were doing at the beginning and now this is recognising, yeah, we're here. As I said, we've sort of got to that stage of sort of near completion of the tunnel construction itself. We are less than a year away from when we start to do the testing and the river starts to become clean. So it's a really important time for us and it's an exciting time for everyone on the project. I did the same as everyone else I've seen, which is you, you first see it and you can't help but say, wow. If I'm honest, I was quite emotional when I was down there. It really touched me. This really is what this has been all about. Yes, the big public realm spaces, they'll be there forever, but so will a cleaner river. <laughs>